When you open Blender for the first time, you'll see three objects in the main viewport. You'll probably want to use a three button mouse when using Blender. The middle mouse button is used to control your view. Hold shift while pressing the middle mouse button and you can go side to side and up and down. This is a camera used for rendering and this is a light and it's also used for rendering. And this is the main default object. We want to design things for 3D printing so we don't need the camera and the light. You can delete the objects by selecting them and pressing X on the keyboard. To move an object around, we could use the move tool here on the left. Just grab the arrows and pull the object around wherever you want. You could also rotate an object by using the rotation tool, it's also on the left. And lastly, you could use the scale tool to make the object bigger or smaller. When you're creating your own custom design, you'll probably want to start with one of the default shapes. Go to Add, Mesh, and here's a list of a bunch of default shapes that you could start with. For example, I could create this cylinder. Now when I create the cylinder, it's inside of this rectangular prism. So I'll have to move the cylinder by using the Move tool. Blender has two modes object mode and edit mode. When you're in object mode, you can move objects around. And edit mode allows you to actually edit the vertices, edges, and faces of that object. When we're in edit mode, we have three additional modes. One mode allows us to select the points, another allows us to select the edges, and the last one allows us to select the faces. We can select individual points, or we could drag and select to select multiple points. In edit mode, we also have access to all of the tools. We can move, scale, and rotate these points. For example, if I scale all of the top points, I can make a kind of cylinder cone shape. Here are some of the tools you could use in edit mode. I'll quickly go through some of the tools you could use to modify an object. You can select a face and pull it out like this with the extrude tool. You could also inset the edges with the inset tool. And now that we have it inset, we could extrude that new face. We could even add a bevel using the bevel tool. Next, we could add what's called a loop cut. And a loop cut creates an extra loop between two other loops of vertices. So an example of why you'd want to do this is we could take that new loop cut and we could scale it. Lastly, we can make our own cuts in the shape using the knife tool. And to use the knife tool, we'll have to go into the point selection mode. All you have to do is click and drag, and we could cut these faces in half. And then when you're done, just press enter to confirm. Now, just for demonstration purposes, we could take one of these new faces, and we could use the extrude tool, and we could pull that face out. I don't really like how that looks, so I'm going to press Control Z to undo. Let's say we're in point selection mode. We go back to our selection tool and we try and select an entire ring of points. If we rotate around, you'll see the points in the back were not selected. To fix this, you could go to toggle x-ray mode up here on the top right and that will allow you to see through the object and select vertices or points that are behind the object. Now with the entire ring of points selected, we could easily scale them out. Now let's say we finished editing our custom design. We would go back to object mode and we don't need this square. So let's delete this, press X and then click delete. And let's move our object to the center of the scene by using the move tool. Now we finished our 3D model. We could save it as an STL file. Go to file, export and STL. So now we could take our exported STL file and drag it into our slicer of choice. And you can see how it auto scaled the model to 10,000%. This is because we haven't set up the units in Blender yet, but we'll get to that later. I'm just going to scale it down to a small size, slice it, and send it to my 3D printer.